Hey guys, it's Darkshot the Poisoner here, bringing you another episode of Let's Play Banjo Kazooie on the Xbox Live Arcade. Uh, in the last episode, I think we finished up uh, Mad Monster Mansion, if I'm not mistaken, and then we didn't actually um, really have time to go and pick up the jiggy that we opened up in. Well, I can't see it from here. The jiggy that we got from the inside of. Uh, my Ad Monster Mansion and press the grunty switch and it should be, yeah, that one right there in the eyeball. So we gotta go get that real quick before we, uh, head off to any new world that, or, well actually we know what new world we're gonna go to. We opened that in the last episode too. We've got, uh, it was, uh, Rusty Bucket Bay that we opened, I do believe. So right there we have, uh, another Mrs. Potts that we can open. And, uh, nothing else really. Uh, really interesting about this place. I think this will be the last Jiggy of um, this part of the hub world, specifically. Like, I'm talking like um, like this room and then the next one. Because there was some, you know, it was more complicated than other ones. You know, we had that little flying pad that we had to sprint to before. Now we have this one. So, technically what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to do the same thing where you're supposed to get to the flying pad and fly into the eyeball. I think that's what you're supposed to do, at least. But I th I'm pretty sure you can just, like, drop down like this and just get on Kazooie and uh, not fall. And you can just get the Jiggy that way, which is a lot easier. And uh, in the process, you can also open up Mrs. Potts, so that's why I prefer doing it that way. Anyway, uh, it is time for um, probably my least favorite level in the game, Rusty Bucket Bay. The reason I don't like Rusty Bucket Bay is probably because, uh, I don't know. It just seems like one of those levels where it's like there's not a whole lot of coherency to it. There's It's just a lot of random stuff in a lot of random places. Unless you've played it a lot of times, you probably won't remember. And it's very likely that I won't remember it either, so. And it's also one of those levels where it's like so far later in the game that it, it, playing it numerous times becomes a hassle because you have to beat a bunch of other stuff before you can even get to it, you know? So, that those are two reasons why it can sort of be one of the more annoying levels. Alright, so there we can raise the water uh, up so that we can go into that area over there. I have to yawn. Oh, I'm sorry. I hate yawning during videos. Oh no, we didn't actually open up Rusty Bucket Bay. We just raised the water level so that we could do this to raise the water level again. Uh -huh. Now I think we go in... Yeah, you can just beat bust this thing open. We can go in here. That, this is where you... Uh, Open Rusty Bucket Bay. What am I thinking? Okay. Okay. It's all good now. Open Rusty Bucket Bay. My voice cracked. That was cool. Uh, I'm an old man. Just kidding. I'm 19 and still going through puberty. Yay. Um. I think you can actually, like, go this way. And this is another one of those reasons where I'm kind of like skeptical if they ever actually finish production of Banjo Kazooie because this this place right here leads into remember that one area? See, that's where we opened Mad Monster Mansion and uh, and got a um, Mumbo token, I believe. And it, it's just that big empty room again. So uh, yeah, I mean that's that's my best hy best hypothesis is that they didn't actually get the production time they wanted for this game. I gotta take a drink of water. Ooh. Oh, crap. I just realized. I know I'm yawning. It's because I woke up late this morning, and I didn't get to make myself a cup of coffee, and now I'm going with cof without coffee today. This is... That's just shameful. If you're a big coffee drinker like me, and you go a day without coffee, you will definitely feel its effects. It is like wearing a giant backpack full of rocks throughout the whole day. That's what it really feels like. Um... Depending whether or not I want to do that before or after the level. Let's do it after the level. Don't mind me. Insane ramblings. Insane ramblings. One good thing about Rusty Bucket Bay is that it does have some pretty fun music. Uh, there, there are a few good reprises of it in the later part of the series. 
but of course, it is one of the more confusing levels of the game. So, we're gonna see if we can, uh, speed through this as fast as possible. I, I very much do not like spending time in Rusty Bucket Bay. It's kind of a stressful level, really. So first off, we have these TNT guys, where if you start walking around them, they, uh, start chasing you. Like this, and, uh, they'll kind of explode in your face. You'll get to see it if once I shoot it with eggs. Those are the safest way to, uh, get rid of these guys. I think they take three? Yeah. There we go. So they explode like that in your face, and you take some damage, so you don't want that to happen. Fire eggs at them from a distance. Safest way to be... Safest way to be safe, I guess. Um... If you look over here, you can look down and see absolutely nothing. That's not very helpful. Well, you can't actually see what I'm trying to show you, so screw that. Oh, I tried to do that little glitch. Alright, so, uh, Grunty's gonna tell us... Uh, that the that we lose air double the speed uh, underwater here, which is really annoying. And I think the only thing we needed was to. Uh, oh, I forgot to turn notifications off too. Um, yeah, the only thing we needed was the Jinjo. All right, so yeah, it's oily water. You lose. Wow, that was loud. You lose your air twice as fast. That's pretty much it. Which is kind of why it's stressful level. I just remember as a kid, I would always, I was, I, this this level was like, it wasn't scary like Mad Monster Mansion was, I was always scared as hell at Mad Monster Mansion, because, you know, I'm a kid, you know, who cares, kids can be scared of stuff, uh, but Rusty Bucket Bay was just like, I don't know how to describe it, because it was, it's just like one of those levels that nobody wants to do. Alright, so for this toll, you're just supposed to put two in it, but you have, if you can put uh, four more in it, this platform will slide out, it will keep you safe, and you can also get this gold feather and this mumbo token and this gold feather as well. I guess I don't need the gold feathers. I'm already full, aren't I? Nope, I guess I'm full. Alright, there's a Jinjo right there, but we're not going to get him because if we go and get that... Jinjo, um, it's going to basically put us in the water, and we don't want to go in the water just yet. You kind of want to, like, do everything outside of the water first, and then go in the water. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Doc? You know what I'm saying? So for right now, let's head on over here, and continue on a merry freaking way. Get some notes. That's another thing about this level, is, uh, it's a lot like um, Mad Monster Mansion, where the notes are uh, in like a bunch of different rooms scattered throughout the level, whereas in a lot of the other levels, they're just all in big lines on the overworld. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You know? Trying to figure out how I want to go about this level. Well, I tell you what I want to do. I want to blow this TNT crate up. That'd be fantastic if I can do that anytime, anytime soon. I'm somehow become Irish in the past five seconds. That was a really bad Irish accent. I'm sure I could do a better one, but uh, I don't have the time to practice. I don't really have anything to say. Except for all oh, these things. The I think if you go in this one, I know there's an extra life in here, question mark? Just kidding, this is a... No, that's not the one I'm thinking of. This one is important. This one has notes and mumbo tokens. So, don't miss this one. The, the other one, I think, is optional. The, the other crate that looks like this one. Uh, we're gonna have to go in through the top of that one, because all the other doors are closed. Also, another annoying thing about this level is, um... I suppose I can show it off. Uh, some of the uh, guys that come out of pipes, normally you can just jump and do your pecking attack, but they have a delayed reaction in some of them, so you have to like, you have to do it the normal way where you provoke them and then have them. So just uh, provoke them and then have them come out and then attack them, because like their AI is smarter in this level for some other reason. Never quite got that, but touch my honey. 
this time, and you'll be sorry. You'll be sorry! Uh... Okay. So... Oh, there's eggs. You're gonna want a lot of eggs for this level, because, you know those tolls? Well, I think if you go... Uh... Yeah, if you leave the level and come back... Which for me wouldn't be a big issue, but like for people playing on the N64, uh, if you died, all those tolls go back to normal. So you know you're just gonna be spending eggs like mad if you keep dying in this level. I don't plan on dying in this level. I just hope I, hope I don't. Hi. Hi. Oh no, this one's important too. What am I thinking? Of? Cause there's a Jinjo. Yeah. I knew there was. Hi. Stop saying that. You shit. Oh, double kill! Good job! Uh. And a Momo token. Alright, no, I'm officially like... At a loss for words. With how much I just like... Been... Wrong about this level already. I know what I'm doing, I swear. Uh, there's nothing down here, is there? Just feathers. Alright. Back up we go. Back into the wild, icky, oil flavored wonder. This one. This is the one that I think is optional. It just has a life in it. Just kidding. There's notes. Oh my lord. How can, can I be wrong any more times today? Explode. Oh, I don't I'll just poop on it. I got this. Uh, yeah! Skill. See, that is what gives you a life. I knew you could get a life somewhere around here. Not like I need it. <laughs> I'm so good at this game. <laughs> ah, yes. And now... We can't actually make it over there because the toll to get... Uh, this thing to come out is actually on the other side, which is kind of problematic for us. So what I'm going to do is, uh, rather what we're going to do is we're going to go backward and over to this crane over here in order to get onto the boat in the middle of the level, which probably we've been looking at questioning its purpose. Well, we're going to go there now. We're also not... Mm. Go back. Go back. Go back. Come on. There we go. Alright. So these little thingies, they're on, like, timed switches, so we're gonna have to press this and move it like Usain Bolt right here, because, uh... That thing only stays open for a limited amount of time. We don't want to miss the opportunity. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You better lose yourself in the music. The moment. You own it. You better never let it go. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. The opportunity comes once in a lifetime. I just barely got that. Christopher Walken. There we go. Now it closes all the way. Get ourselves an Ecom Tokum, and we're gonna be introduced to another new bad guy in the game. And I keep yawning. I'm so entirely sorry. I made myself a cup of coffee earlier, and then, well, I didn't drink it this morning, and I just, I made it this afternoon, and I just neglected to go get myself the pot. So this is the bad guy right here. There's fake pipes like that guy. He's gonna try and attack you. And then there's real ones, which we can actually jump in and go down. And these are the annoying things where it's like there's notes sprawled randomly all over the place and in no particular order or fashion. Hey, what's up? Ew, ew! Who spilled? Ew! Oh, that literally made me clench my butt. I hate it when people spill. Ugh. Ew! I don't even want to look at it. Don't step on the knife either, Banjo. This place is dangerous as shit. Also, these red-hot glowing things, they'll hurt you, but, uh, no big deal. It's only gonna hurt you once. It's not gonna be an insta. Insta-death. Insta-death. And I really don't think there's anything important in here, either. It's just a bunch of eggs. 
As I recall, yeah, nothing. But you want to be sure to do a once-over in these rooms before you go, because these are those rooms. Ugh. These are the rooms where they're really just, like, hiding stuff, and it's, ugh, kind of a pain in the butt, if you know what I mean. <laughs> 